Wallpaper is an amazing way to get an instant impact in any room, but if you don't do it right, it can land you in a world of hurt. So to not fall into the same trap, I've got some simple steps you can follow that would guarantee your wallpaper will look great every time. No matter what type of wall you have, you need to do the prep work first. So a good scrape and a quick sand, and that will knock off any high spots. When it comes to wallpapering, 95% of the time, you're gonna be starting from your left and working to your right. And it's a good idea to work out how many lengths you need, is to actually sit the roll in place and then mark it out on the wall. And for this wall, I need four and a half lengths. Wherever you decide to start, it's vital to mark a vertical line so your paper goes up straight. Just like painting, you need to remove any PowerPoint covers and protect the floor. You just want to make sure when you're mixing the glue that you follow the ratios that are on the back of the packet. And then let it sit for three minutes to thicken up and you're ready to put it on the wall. You'll notice that I've got a plumb line on the wall of where my first sheet goes to. You just want to make sure when you're gluing up, you go about 50mm past that line so you get good adhesion on the edge of the sheet. When you put the wallpaper up, leave some excess at the top because most ceilings aren't completely level and you don't want a gap once you've dealt with the bubbles. To avoid getting those annoying air bubbles, use your smoother going vertically up the wall Never go sideways because you can move the paper out of plumb. Looking good, trim to fit along the ceiling and around any power points. Because this paper is straight matched, it means that the left hand side will always line up with the right hand side. So that way, when the paper's up, we get a seamless finish. Because the edges of the paper are most likely to lift, it's a good idea to go over it with a roller. And that way, We'll make sure that it's stuck down for good. With these simple tips, you'll get a bubble-free wallpaper every time.